when it comes to Marvel's Werewolf by Night, which is literally just about here, we will all be watching the Disney Plus special soon. It's interesting to find out that this is the most violent the MCU has gotten yet. And chances are that the black and white contributes to this a lot. Hollywood is a crazy place. You are allowed a certain amount of swears, and depending on how the swear is used and the context of it and how frequent they are, that can skew your rating for whatever you're working on pretty high. When it comes to violence, um, there's ways that you can get around it to the point where you can show tons of dismemberment and suggestive violence, and depending on how you handle the camera work and how you handle the lighting, you will actually be able to get away with far less of a, uh, you know, age-gated rating. Let's just put it that way. So it's not surprising that we're finding out that the reason that they went black and white with Werewolf by Night, at least one of the reasons, is because it allows for a lot of violence. And stylistically, the story that they told kind of demanded that this thing be black and white because of the nature of the setting and what they were going for and how they were trying to position this thing as something completely different in the MCU. And when they realized that, hey, since it's black and white, I mean, if you're showing blood and violence, it's not red, which is one of the key takeaways for anything on TV. When you see blood that's red, you know, you notice it, right? Like it automatically jumps out. Us as humans, we're programmed to know what that is. But then, in children's shows, for example, they would have to find interesting ways, being like, but well, what if they're mutants and their blood is green? And they'd be like, oh, sure, yeah, decapitate all the mutants you want, and you can get away with it. If you go black and white, it's the same type of thing. You're allowed more violence. Because, again, who's to say that that thing gushing everywhere is red? We don't know. Suggestive, right? So Werewolf by Night is going to be taking this approach and using it to its advantage to give us something that shows a lot more violence than most MCU products. Now again, I will still say one of the most violent things to ever happen in the MCU is shockingly enough Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. where they literally show open brain surgery on Agent Coulson who's screaming in pain that he wants to die on ABC. That was insane. And they hang on it for a good, uncomfortable, like, eight seconds. So, you know, that's a thing. Um, but I'm really interested just to see what exactly happens with this. And what exactly might be going on, like, that's so violent in this. Or over the top that they were like, you know what, it's good we got this black and white. We're not going to have to be worried about being offensive to parent groups or whoever's going to scream about this thing. Which we know they will. It features the occult. It, it, it's a given. Um... People don't like the occult. 